Hello, welcome to ICGTrends.com. I'm Suresh Kanal. In this video, I'm going to solve a question asked by Sriram about the eggshell. The question is to calculate a bill, and the, he has entered headings here like serial number, description, quantity, rate, discount amount, uh, grand total, discount percentage, amount without discount, etc., and the sample data is entered. Uh, there are two parts of the question to solve. The first one, calculate the discount amount uh, for the given condition 10% discount if amount without discount is greater than 30,000 and you need to create a pie chart of the grand total column. To demonstrate his uh, question here, I have copied the data he provided onto my Excel sheet. The first column consists of serial number 123. The second column contains the description, the name of products that was purchased or sold. And the third column contains the quantities, how many of them were purchased or sold. And on the fourth column is a rate. Now here we will uh, calculate the amount without discount. Uh, this is very simply the multiplication, the product of the quantity and rate. And on the next column, here we need to determine, we need to decide whether the percentage, discount percentage, uh, will be how much? 10% or 10% uh, discount. That means just 10% or 0%. So here we will determine whether the discount percentage will be 10% or 0%. And finally, on the grand total, we will calculate here the amount after the discount is uh, provided and apart from this the question also asks to calculate total VAT and net profit so there is a, about the total and VAT value added tax and net profit I don't know what this net profit is uh, intending to calculate here okay now to calculate the amount without discount you will just need to enter the formula equals to quantity multiplied with the rate so c2 asterisk d2 press it enter and to calculate the uh, discount percentage we need to check the criteria if the uh, discount uh, if the amount with a discount is greater than 30000 the discount will be 10% so equals to if bracket open this amount amount with a discount is greater than 30,000 if the amount with a discount is greater than 30,000 comma the discount percentage will be 10 percent is otherwise zero it's very simply and to calculate the grand total now here so this was the amount without any discount product of quantity and rate and 10% discount has to be given so the grand total will be this amount minus 10% of this amount so that is equals to from this amount we need to subtract the 10 percentage that means f2 percentage of the amount with a discount so press enter 1000 discount he has got and here the grand total will be uh, 9000 rupees select these cells and drag the fill hand handle down to fill up the four other cells this is 25000 this is 5000 uh, uh oh if discount percentage i made a mistake here it had to be 3000 or 30000 30000 mm, let me update the formula okay so now the first one because it's less than 30,000 it will get only 0% discount and because this is 75,000 more than 30,000 so 10,000 10% uh, 10 is discount this is also 75,000 so 10% is discount now here you will calculate the total uh, equals to sum of sorry sum of these cells highlight them g22 uh, equals to sum of G2 colon G4 and press enter to calculate the sum. VAT is 
thirteen uh, percent is VAT. So equals to uh, thirteen percent is of the total amount. It will become the VAT amount that is eighteen thousand eight hundred fifty is the VAT for one lakh forty five thousand total amount. And I guess this net profit is the amount uh, and the difference of the total and VAT. So type your equals to and from this total you need to subtract the VAT amount. So finally this uh, 1 lakhs 26,150 is the net profit. Okay that was the first part of the question to calculate the discount amount with the for the given condition. Now the second part of the question, question number B uh, contains create the pie chart of grand total. So here in our sheet we need to create the uh, pie chart of grand total. So let me select the description column and hold control then click and drag the grand total say, uh, column. So from this data we need to create a pie chart. So select them and go to insert and then chart menu. We need to create the pie chart. So from the uh, chart wizard step one the standard types choose the pie chart type and on this subtype you can choose any of them for me uh, this one pi is quite uh, good enough now let me see how it will help you the sample so grand total the chart title and there will be the sectors for the printer uh, computer and camera so this is exactly what i need so i can click it next the second uh, uh, step is to uh, specify the series and data range excel has selected correctly because i made this selection earlier so excel followed my selection no problem for this i'll go to the next uh, step and the third step i need to uh, write here the chart title legend and data labels so uh, right now it is grand total i will name here the uh, sales of uh, products this uh, title and legend I prefer the legend to be on the bottom of the chart here at this position and there are labels it's better if I can display the percentage or value of those sectors I guess percentage is better than the values or shall I place the value and percent both of them uh, no problem and then click on next Finally, you decide whether you want to place the chart on a, a new sheet, a new chart sheet, or as an object in the current sheet. Let me put it as an object in the current sheet and click finish. A chart is placed here. Okay, so uh, to make further ed editing, if you require, you can double, uh, sorry, you can click uh, in the chart area, <coughs> click and, sorry, click and drag the chart as you want to display similarly this there are levels if you want to make them a bit smaller change it and that's all for this chart the question asks to decide the discount percentage and calculate different columns and it also asks to create a pie chart both of them we have done and I guess this is solution for Sriram and his question if you still have any further question, please don't hesitate to use the ICG Trends user question forum. Uh, thank you for watching.